Hello everybody, this is Yanka from Candy Candles, the YouTube channel where we learn together how to make creative candles. Today we are making this uh, serial killer Fruit Loops candle, which I think is super duper cute. So let's get into it. First of all, I'm placing my wick, as always, with the wick sticker. I like to use the, the sticker so I'm sure the candle is uh, safe and the wick is not going to move. Here I have uh, melted my wax already and I have, I have added my fragrance. It's the Fruit Loop type. Fruit Loops type from Aroma, which is amazing. So um, I am using my heat gun to heat up the, my vessel. And this is because I want to avoid, uh, they're called like wet spots or ad adhesion problems that it can happen, you know, with the, with the wax. And um, so if you heat up your, your, your vessel, um, when you pure the, the wax, there's not going to be much, too much uh, of a difference in temperature. So that's what it causes the, the wet, uh, wet spots that you see in candles. Here I made my um, Fruit Loops and I've used, remember always to use um, the right wax for wax melt because it has to be, I always say that, but it's very important to use a hard wax. My candle is set as you can see and there's no just a tiny bit like wet spot i don't know if you can see in the video but really nothing compared to other candles i'm showing you this the fairyland that i've made the other day it's really cute too but has a lot of um, wet spots as you can see and this is because i did not heat up my my jar with the with the heat gun so make sure you do that i think it's really worth it Now I'm taking again my, uh, my heat gun so I can heat up the, the top of, of the wax, of the white wax, so I can place my, uh, like I can put my uh, fruit loops and it, they're gonna stick on the, um, on the wax. You don't need a lot of melted wax, just, you know, enough so the Fruit Loops can stick on it. And now I'm placing my loops all around my candle. of course you can you know play with the design I've already uh, melted my wax for the whipped Part and added my fragrance oil is set and ready to be to be whipped. Then I'm putting it into my piping bag. And now it's time to pipe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah. So go around. And the more you do this, uh, you know, like the more you experiment with whipped wax and the, the better you become, for sure. The 
Remember, for me, for my business, I always want to put a lid on top of the, or at least I try <laughs> to be able to put a lid on top of the candle because that's how I, how I want to do it. But you don't have to, like if you don't care about the lid, you can make your candle much taller. And uh, I don't know, I feel like you have more room to, to play with the candle, if, if it makes sense. Uh, but for me, I will, like I want to be sure that I keep it to the right height so I can put a lid on top. Because that, that's for my business, of course. If I was gonna make like a candle for like a friend or you know just like that I probably wouldn't put a lid on top because I think it looks nice you know if the the candle like the whipped cream or whipped wax is taller but it's up to you really now I'm placing more Fruit Loops on top and guys if you're new to my channel and uh, <laughs> many of you are because I'm a new channel <laughs> don't forget to subscribe like this video and uh, let me know in the comment if you're gonna make this um, this candle if you like it, I love it. I love the look but I also love the um, the fragrance is one of my favorite and uh, yeah I post videos every week about creative ma candle making and I really hope I can be helpful. You know, if you have any question, feel free to ask and reach out. So this is the, the candle. I'm gonna clean it a little bit around because I wanna place my label. I make my labels on Canva. I love Canva and I use the Cricut machine, the Cricut Maker. To cut my labels if you're interested in that i can make videos about that too because i really love designing labels and here i place my label now i'm placing another label of my own um, on the lid So that's how it looks. I mean, if you like it, I love it. I love this candle. And the last step for me, which you don't have to if you don't want to, but I have my my box for the candle because I could sell these candles on Etsy. And now I'll show you the how they look together. After I put, I always put a ribbon on my box. Sorry, the light it's. Uh, uh, like it's a little bit dark but it was night when I filmed it but yeah that's the final candle guys let me know let me know if you like it and I will see you in my next project ciao